project, we're going to leave the LED as is to use it as an indicator again. Um, LEDs are great for this purpose. Um, we are going to add a tilt sensor, which you see right here, um, to the breadboard. Mine actually looks a little bit different than this, but I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, uh, what it looks like exactly in a second. Um, tilt sensors are pretty cool though. They actually have like a little metallic ball inside and when you tilt them at certain angles, they complete circuits. In this regard, they are very similar to a button. The only difference is you need to tilt um, them to complete the circuit instead of pressing in a button. Um, so let's take a look. The code that we're going to use is actually the same exact. I'm not changing anything from our button program. Um, you might, if you're going to do this for real, you might want to change the variables to, you know, tilt. Uh, you know, right in here it says, you know, button pin should really be tilt pin, just to name things um, to indicate what they really are. It's good protocol. But for right now, I'm just going to leave this as is. As always, the code is available in the description. Feel free to download it and run it. Um, uh, so anyway, the code acts the same. Um, what happens is when we get read the button state every time through with the tilt state, I guess, every time through, um, it's equal to zero, um, which means low, and then one equals high. Um, and so we read that, and it's going to give it either you know high or low. And if it's high, then we're going to make a switch because it means that we've tilted the... Um, the, the tilt sensor and it's completed the, cir the circuit and is now high. So then we just reverse whatever the state um, of the switch state is to false or true. And if the switch, switch state is true, then we light up the LED. Otherwise, it's, um, it's not. So let's uh, take a look at what that looks like. All right, so this is a demonstration of the tilt sensor. Um, also referred to as a tilt switch because it really works like a switch or a button. And in fact, I haven't even changed the code from our button example. I'm just leaving that in there because this really functions just like a button. And so let's see here if I tilt the, if the little ball moved and back and, and now the light is on. Now if I switch it back again, the light is off right so let's do that again tilt back light is on tilt back light is off it's pretty cool oh the ball must have rolled there there we go there you go so it is pretty sensitive but that's the tilt sensor thanks